Hi, and welcome to my channel. This video is a follow-on to the previous video about communicating through the earth. In that video, we put together a simple uh, set of amplifiers and transformer and some audio sources to try to communicate through the earth. There were several comments on there that uh, they would have liked to have actually heard the audio. Um, since the time I did it, uh, the temperature was about two degrees with a wind chill. So I just used a crystal earphone. This time I'm going to show you the results using a, an amplifier and a speaker outside. Okay? If you haven't seen the first video, uh, I highly recommend you take a look at that for the setup for the details. Um, this is going to be an overview of what I did, but uh, not as, in as much uh, detail as before. So let's take a look at the results and see if we can hear them. Okay? So this is the uh, original setup. There's an audio source right here, radio, plugged into an amplifier. The amplifier is connected to a variac. I'm using that as the transformer that I talked about in the previous video. And then the transformer output goes to two wires that are connected to uh, the electrodes in the basement here. Okay, this is the electrodes outside. Uh, it's a lot better than it was when I was in the last uh, video. It was two degrees out. Today it's a balmy uh, 47 degrees. Ground is still wet. The electrodes uh, or copper tubing is about 18 inches into the ground. The other copper tubing is about 40 feet away. I'll show you that. So that's right here. And um, it's not uh, in line. These two electrodes are not in line with the ones in the, in the basement. They're not parallel. But uh, it seems to work, as advertised. I'm going to go over to the speaker. You know, it's not Dolby 7.1, but I don't see if you can hear it. Let me get a little closer. You can hear it. The house is that away, and the closest one uh, electrode in the house is near that bulkhead. Now this is with the area uh, at about five volts, and the volume here turned up. It also turns up the noise, so I'm going to lower the volume here. It seems to be slightly less noise than static. So I would say uh, definitely needs a filter. Uh, for most code, you probably don't. 